welcome to Sarah Stamping the Tree. Today I'm going to share with you 10 quick and easy Christmas cards that we're going to create using this Winter Wonderland paper pack. And this paper pack's really nice, it doesn't have a lot of colours in, so you don't really have to think about colour matching when you're putting the pages together and it's full of things that you can snip out to be the focus, sentiments and background papers. So actually I've had to add hardly anything, just real basics to this. I've not even added any stamps or sentiments or anything like that because it's all in this pack. It's a really nice one. So let me quickly take you through the pack. There's three of each sheet. I've taken some out to prep the cards, but you do get three of each sheet. So you've got this, these gorgeous glitter snowflakes and you'll see as we go through that some of these I've actually fussy cut and sometimes I've used it as a background sheet as well. Then we've got these kind of dotty Christmas trees and they're glittery too. We've got these foil stars. We've got these foil Christmas trees. And then we go on to the normal papers. So the rest aren't speciality. So we've got this nice kind of background bokeh type style. And stars. We've got these little background snowflakes, we've got stripes, we've got this sheet here, and we've got this sheet that's full of sentiment, so winter wonderland, season's greetings, happy Christmas, and you'll see as we go through that I've also used this as a background and first cut the sentiments, and then we've got this kind of nice foliage one, and then we've got this winter wishes one, and I've actually used this as the sentiment on quite a few of the cards as well. And just to note as well, this piece is actually kind of almost like the front cover, but I will eventually use this as well because it's obviously full of strips of the nice papers from the pack. And there's a couple of other things from the same kind of line of craft products that I'm going to use. There's these stars, so you get this one and this one, and there are obviously 12 in the pack, as you can see there, but I've got some out ready to use on the cards. And I'm going to use some of these glitter dots as well. So all of the navy blue cardstock that I'm using today is from Paperbox Limited. It's their navy blue matte cardstock. And this is an A6 card blank, so that is 4 and an eighth by 5 and 7 eighth inches. And then I've cut this piece of silver mirror cardstock. This is from Hunky Dory, half an inch smaller. And this piece of pattern paper from the pack, a quarter of an inch smaller than that. And all I'm just going to do is use a corner rounder punch. This is an old one, but I think a lot of people have corner rounder punches in their stash. And I'm just going to round off two opposite corners. And I'm going to do the same on the silver cardstock. And I'm going to glue those two pieces together. And I can glue that to the front of my card. And then I've got this wood to wishes which I fussy cut from the pack. So I'm going to pop some foam pads on the back of there. I'm going to pop that in the middle of my card. And then I've got some of these embellishments that I can pop on as well. And I'm going to pop them on with some frame pads too. The nice thing about these embellishments is they're actually glittery on both sides. And then I'm going to add on some of our number dots as well. So there's our first card finished, really pretty. So then for my second card, I've fussy cut out four of these snowflakes, and then I've cut these to just over one and a half inches square, and I've cut these to one and three quarter inches square. So I'm gonna layer those up, and then I'm going to pop a snowflake up on foam pads on each of them. And all of these Wood to Wonderland items are from DRK Craft. Some of you might know that I'm on the design team for them, but I actually bought 
these because I just love them so much. Their stuff is really, really good value for money, so I would say definitely check them out. So I'm just going to lay these out on here just for a second because I want to see where I want my strips to go. So I'm not worried about them being particularly neat for now, it's just more of a layout type thing. So I want them to go like that with this underneath. So I want strips to go underneath the squares. So I'm going to put one under here. And then I'm going to glue this onto my card front. So this card, I've got a 5 by 7 inch card blank. Then the piece of the kind of bokeh style pattern paper is 6.5 inches by 4.5 inches. And then these pieces are an inch by 4.5 inches. So then I can glue on my squares and lay them out first so that I know exactly where they want to go. So then I'm going to add some foam strips to the back of this white Christmas that I cut out of that paper. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a few of these little sparkly gems in the middle of the snowflakes. So there's that next card done. So then for this next card I've got a 5x5 five five inch navy card blank. And this piece of paper that has all the wording on it is 4 and 3 quarter inches square. Now I've got this piece of silver that's three and three quarter inches square and this piece that's three and a half inches square from the paper path and I'm going to glue it on but I'm not going to glue this corner. But then this corner that I've not glued I'm just going to fold this. Just to add a bit of extra interest so then I'm going to glue this onto my card. So then I'm going to use a glue dot to add this star onto the centre of this snowflake that I fussy cut. Then I'm going to add my Winter Wonderland sentiment on with some of the foam strips. And I can glue this onto that corner. And then I'm going to add some of these glitter dots again. So then that's that card finished. I'm just layering up those embellishments that was really pretty in that corner. So then for my next card, it's another 5 by 7 inch card back with a piece of pattern paper that measures 6.5 by 4.5 inches. Then I've got this that's 3 inches square. And then the piece of silver that I'm going to glue it onto is an eighth of an inch bigger. So I just want that really fine border of silver on the outside. And then I've got another one of these Winter Wishes pieces that I fussy cut out. And I'm going to add that on with some fine pads again. So I can that on there. So then I'm just going to lay out my card to see where I want all the pieces. So I'm happy with that layout. So this piece at the bottom is two inches by four and a half inches. Then this starry piece is two inches by six and a half inches. And then I'm going to pop this here. And then I'm going to add my embellishment on in this corner here. And then again I'm going to add some of these glittery embellishments just to add to the look of it. 
And then there's that card finished. So then for this card, I'm just going to use a basic circle die just to cut a piece out of the corner. And my circle die is about three and a half inches. So that then just adds a little bit of interest with that kind of aperture in the corner. So I'm going to just glue that on. So for this card, I've got another A6 card blank. This piece that I've just cut the corner out of is quarter of an inch smaller. Then I fussy cut this piece out. And actually before I put that on, I'm just going to add on the sentiment. So it's again another one that I fussy cut from the pair. I absolutely love this kind of paper pack where literally everything's there for you, even the sentiments. You know that it's all going to colour coordinate because it's all the same pack. Really pretty. And then again, I can add on some of these gems to decorate it. So then that's that card finished. So then for this card, I've got another A6 card blank. Then this piece is half an inch smaller than my card blank. This piece is a quarter of an inch smaller than my silver piece. And as you can see, as we're going through, all the cards are easy to make. Some are really super simple like this one. Some have a bit more to them. I think it's nice to have a mixture. I mean, obviously you could kind of use these layouts with any paper picks that you have and just add in whatever you've got to be the focal points. It's really nice to have some quick and easy cards to hand, I think. I just think it also helps to use up some of those pattern papers that a lot of us have. And I know I've got hordes of them. So this piece is two inches and the same width as the snowflake piece. And then I've got another one of these winter wishes. These have made really nice focal points for my cards. And then again, I'm just going to add a few of these gems. And there's that one done. So this one's another A6 card blank, but this time I've got it folding this way. And I've got a piece of this starry paper that is a quarter of an inch smaller. So then this piece is three by four and a half inches and the silver piece is an eighth of an inch bigger. So it just gives that really fine border to it. So I can glue that onto a card frame. And then I fussy cut three of these trees from the paper pair. I'm going to pop this middle one up on foam pads. And then I'm just going to pop some glue in the middle of this in some foam strips towards the ends. And then it can sit across there. And then there's that one. And then for this one, I've got a 6 by 6 inch navy blue card blank. And then this piece is 5 and a quarter inches square, and this piece is an eighth of an inch bigger. And I have to say that that card blank actually isn't quite 6 by 6 inches, it's 5 and 7 eighths inches square. And that is because A4 cardstock in the UK is 11 and 3 quarter inches tall, so I've just scored that in half rather than having to buy 12 by 12 inch cardstock to be able to make a six inch card blank. I think an eighth of an inch doesn't really, really make any difference here or there. So then each of these silver pieces is one and three quarter inches and the navy pieces are an eighth of an inch smaller. 
and then I'm going to pop up one of these stars that I've cut from the foiled star paper onto each of the squares. I love that this paper pack has so many of these bits that you can quite easily fussy cut to make your own embellishments. So this piece is one and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. And the piece of silver that I am gluing it to is an eighth of an inch bigger. And I'm going to glue that across here. And then I'm going to put some of this fine strip behind the sentiment that I've cut from the pack. And then these pieces I'm going to glue down this side. And then I'm going to add on some of these dots again and there's that one done so then for this one I've got a five inch square card blank then a four and a half inch square piece of silver card stock and a four and a quarter inch piece of this pattern paper with the wording on then this circle that I've cut from the silver is just over three and a half inches and this one's just over three and a quarter inches I'm just going to glue those together so any of these extra things I use like the punch and the circle dies I've tried to keep to things that the majority of people will already have in their stash so I'm going to glue that onto my card and then I've got this strip of navy cardstock that is an inch wide and I'm just going to cut a tail into there. Where I like to cut a tail is to just cut up the middle and then cut into that. I think that's the best way to get quite an even tail. And then I'm going to add on my Happy Christmas. So then I'm going to glue that towards the bottom of my card. And then I'm going to add some foam pads on the back of it. And then I'm just going to add on this embellishment just here. And there's that one finished. So then for my final card, I've got another 5x7 card blank. Then I've got this piece of cardstock that measures four and a half by six and a half inches and i'm just going to put these strips that are kind of just over a quarter of an inch wide across here and then i'm just going to trim the edges off And I can glue this onto my card frame. Then I've got this piece of silver cardstock that is six by two and a quarter inches. And then this piece of the snowflake paper that I'm going to add on is an eighth of an inch smaller. And then I've got this piece of pattern paper that is three inches square. And then I've got a silver piece and an eighth of an inch larger than this. And then I'm going to pop up this Winter Wishes. So I'm going to add that onto my square. And then I want to lay out my card before I glue it down to make sure that I've got the positioning right. I think that looks nice like that, so I'm going to glue it down like that. And so then there's that final card finished. 
So let's bring in the other cards and I'm going to show you them as I put them down because there's not going to be enough space to see them all at the end. We've got our Winter Wonderland, Season's Greetings, this Happy Christmas one. Then we've got our White Christmas Snowflakes. We've got our Winter Wishes. We've got this largest White Christmas Square card. And we've got this Winter Wishes. And this Winter Wishes. And then our Season's Greetings. So then we've got this really gorgeous collection of 10 cards made with very little other than the paper pack and the embellishments that go with it and there's still so much more paper in the paper pack i've only even touched one sheet of each type of pattern paper and i've got so much left even off those sheets and i use most of these stars i've only got four left of those and i've got these many of those embellishments left I think this is a really inexpensive way to create some cards because the embellishments and the papers that I've used are reasonably inexpensive. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's tutorial and that you've got some ideas to make cards of your own. Please do let me know which is your favourite card in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got new videos available. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.